this video starts, I just want to quickly say that I'm so happy to announce that a couple days ago I released a clothing collection in my Roblox group. The collection Elysian is an earthy based goblin core theme. If you're into that, then go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. Hello my puppies, I'm Puffle and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not, then welcome back. So today I'm doing a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on Pixlr E. The link is in the description for it. It's just this website that you can use to edit pictures. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is go on Google and find a background you want to use. Alright, so now you just want to paste it onto there. And if it's locked, you can go ahead and just double click on this lock button or just right click and press unlocked. Alright, now to make it fit, you're going to want to do edit transform hold down control go on one of the corners and just resize it okay now once you've had that you're gonna want to put a G effects on here if you don't have one then just go ahead and make one I already have one so I'm just gonna put it on here and then you could just go ahead and resize this one as well okay and then just go ahead and go to adjustment and mess around with the lighting and the colors. Alright, so after you've messed around with the lighting, just go ahead and go to filter and outline. I'm just going to stick with a white outline and just go ahead and make the size whatever you want. I'm going to stick with 10 because I like that one. And then go to filter drop shadow and what i usually do is 48 3 9 and 3 and then you want to add your text so go ahead and go to these circles and add the color you want the text to be i'm gonna try to match the background and do a bit of a darker blue And then I just press all the text, go to the layer, and rasterize layer. And then just do that for all of the text. And then I just choose a lighter or darker color, just depending on how you feel. And then on one of the other text, I go to adjustment and color lookup, and then I just press this one. And click all the way down here I click this brown and delete it and then I press apply and now I have a lighter bluish purple now I just do a darker one and then I go to free transform and I just rotate a little bit I'm gonna just rotate this one a little bit I'm going to rotate this one uh, like that and then rotate this one like that and then I just press the top text layer and then I do control and six so we merge all of the text then I usually go to um, filter bevel and then I take a darker color then all of the blues then I make the highlights all the way up and then I lower the shadow and then I press apply and then I go to the filter outline and then I usually do like almost a white and then I usually lower that a little bit and now we add the shadow we do the same thing as we did for this one the 48393 and that looks nice and all, but let's just add some sun rays. Now, if this isn't where you want it to be, just go ahead and go to edit, free transform, change the size and just drag it to wherever you want it to be. I'm just going to make mine go down there. We right click on it and the blend mode should be changed to overlay and just turn down the transparency. 
There we go. Now I'm going to add a bouquet overlay. I just take that and I make it overlay. Then I just turn down the transparency. And then I add my sparkles. Maybe you want to do screen for this one so then it doesn't make everything as dark. Just lower the opacity. And then I usually take my GFX and I put it on top of everything. And then you can make any final adjustments if you need. And then after I adjust all of those, I go over to the background we have. Go to filter, details, and Gaussian blur. And then I just blurred a little bit. And then there you go. Now you have a thumbnail. So then go ahead and go to file and save. And you can export as either a JPEG or a PNG, but I usually do a PNG. Um, but for YouTube, make sure it's under 2.0 millibytes. So then you might want to do JPEG and then just turn the quality all the way up. And then, yeah, just go ahead and save it. And there you go. Now you have a usable thumbnail. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know if I should do any other kind of tutorials and have a lovely day or night. Bye. All we got is a bag in the backseat. And it's love we share, not shabby at all. But the fact is we moving too fast, but the thought passed me when I got lost inside of your eyes. Cliche to say, but too true. Picking up Danny's, y'all always wanted a dandy man. You